Hello everyone. I, as you can see, I really let my roots go wild. So I had to fix it with my favorite hair dye. It is really easy to apply because they indicate each product with a number. So it's easy to follow the instructions. The box contains a developer, conditioner, a color tube. I like to use a small bowl to mix the developer and the color with a brush because I can see the consistency of the mixture better. Step one, empty the entire content of the developer in a bowl along with the color tube and make sure you use it all. That tone keeps sticking out, sorry about that. Of course, you have to pierce the tube in order to get the color out, so remove the safety ring and twist the top back on. And it's done. It does take a little effort to squeeze everything out of the tube, but we are strong, powerful females. Make sure you mix the ingredients well, so they blend without any clots. And now let's speed up a little. And you know you're almost done when it turns into a smooth and a bit jelly-like consistency. Oops, my magic light went off. So this is the consistency that you should like to achieve. Before we start, I like to brush my hair through with a detangling comb because the hair can tangle during the process and honestly it is easier also to section it as my hair as you can see is very curly. I also noticed on my previous videos that I don't smile and that makes me look grumpy but in fact I concentrate so much and when I do so I forget that my face is doing her own thing and I forget to control it but work in progress. Sectioning the hair makes it a lot easier rather than just start wherever. I always part my hair in the middle and work my way down till the under the temples area, including the section before the ears. Gloves are really important. I start applying the color on the roots and making sure to spread it lower down, lower than the growth of the new hair itself to avoid silver stripes. I would love to say don't hurry and take your time, but uh, this isn't true. You need to make sure you apply the color quickly because keeping the dye too long on the hair is damaging for both hair and scalp. I really like this product because not only it is ammonia free, so it doesn't have that terrible strong chemical smell. And I also noticed that my scalp doesn't itch when the product is setting. Because I'm only doing the roots, I don't distribute the entire product on the hair. Like this, I will get a slight transition from darker roots to lighter ends. Partly because I never managed to have a heart-to-heart -heart chat with any of the hairdressers, I spent 23 years looking at how hairdressers work and memorized it.
Doing the last one is always the relief, to be honest. I reapply the product quickly again on the front to make sure all my grey hair is covered. Now it's all done. Regretfully, I always manage to mess up my face. So it is ideal to remove the dye from the skin in that instant when you accidentally put it on. But well, hmm. oops. And you only need to set the timer for 35 minutes and you can wash it off. 35 minutes later. And we are back and it's time to dry the hair. These days I only wash my hair with paraben free and sulfate free shampoo. And instead of conditioner, I just rinse my hair with cold water and it gives me the same effect. In fact, when you shower under warm or hot water, it acts like a natural shampoo. It means it will remove the oils from the hair and scalp and will open up the cuticles. And the cold water would act like a natural conditioner, which would result in closing the cuticles. I wrote a full blog about the benefits of cold and hot showers. So if you are interested to read about it, I will leave a link down below. You will need a clip and a comb and a brush. Yet before I start, I just quickly detangle my hair so it will be easier to work with the hair. Always start at the ends and work yourself up to the roots. Like this, you will never tear out your hair while brushing it. I like to curl the hair away from the face. No special reason, I just simply like it like that more. I like to dry my hair on medium and low heat, keeping the hair dry far from the hair and the scalp. I used to blast it on very high heat and keep it very close to the hair, like hairdressers do sometimes. But to be frank, with age, it was also partly, I reckon, why my hair got so damaged from all the unnecessary products and constant heat. I remember when I was 18, 19 years old, it took me one hour and a half to blow dry my hair. So I had to do it always in the evening and now due to several different experiences in life, bad choice in nutrition and changes in lifestyle, lots of my hair fell out and got thinner and it made me use hair extensions, which made it even worse and so it resulted now it takes me 30 minutes to blow dry my hair actually so from one hour i went down from one hour and a half to 30 minutes so i think it's it's a huge it's a huge loss so i decided to cure my hair and when i switched from western reiki to jikiden reiki it gave me a very different understanding about the human body so I, it really pointed me into the direction towards oriental medicine. I used to believe that hair would get damaged due to lack of certain vitamins or bad hair products and also, often, uh, and also uh, because I often colored it or let's say if there is just an inflammation in the body somewhere or there is a bad tooth. Uh, so I tried taking supplements, managed my stress, went to the dentist, and yet my hair still got thinner and uh, didn't stop to fall out. Uh, now I have a much better understanding of how, of how it's much more than that. Everything is related, starting with a well-balanced meal plan, the circulation of blood within the body, the fitness levels, and of course, how you treat your hair. So currently I'm on a journey to implement these ancient advices that stood the test of times into my own life so I can heal my hair. And if you are interested in this topic and want me to share my hair journey with you, please leave a comment down below.
probably you also notice but i love to use my fingers and just my hands i always because i notice that the hair changes after i touch it it becomes more silky and bouncy And in the meantime, you can see that Mr. Cat in the background is supervising me, my actions and the life outside, multitasking. And here we are. It is all done. I think this brand is pretty good. And despite this one isn't a permanent dry, just a cream color, it perfectly covers my gray hair and doesn't dry it like other products do. And at least this is what my impression with it is. If you have a different impression, please let me know so i know it too and if you decide to try it please try it and let me know let's share this experience together i hope you like this video please give it a thumbs up uh, like this i will know if i should create similar content in the future and see you soon in my next video bye